In this lesson, I'll show you three examples on how to convert between pressure units. Question one reads, a high performance road bicycle tire is inflated to a total pressure of 132 PSI, which stands for pounds per square inch. What is the pressure in MMHG, which represents millimeters of mercury? To do this, we'll use the following table, and we're told that the tire pressure is 132 PSI. What I'll do first is convert this into atmospheric units. So I'll take this number and multiply it by. We know that one atmosphere is equal to 14.7 PSI. So I'll multiply this by 1 atm over 14.7 PSI. And what this will do is convert this unit into atmospheres. So now that I have it in atmospheres, I'm not going to multiply this out yet. I'll wait for the next conversion. And the next conversion will be one atmosphere per every 760 tor, which is 1 mmHg. So this time I'll multiply what I have so far by 1 atm per 760 tor. Notice what happens. This atm will cancel out with this atm and we're left with tor and that represents 1 mmHg. So let's go ahead and calculate this. We have 132 times 1 times 760 divided by 14.7 and no need to multiply by 1 either. This gives us approximately 6824 decimal 48. 6824 decimal 48 mm H G. Now remember, our number that we started with had three significant figures, although this one has many more. It has six that we've written so far. So we have to round this to three significant figures. That means everything after this two is insignificant. Our final answer should be 6,820 mmHg. And if you want to write this in scientific notation, feel free to do that, although this is already three significant figures. In question number two, we're asked, the weather report states that the barometric pressure is 30.44 inches of mercury. Convert this pressure into PSI. So we're told the following, inches of mercury. And the first thing that I'll do is change this so that it's in terms of atmospheres. Taking 30.44 Hg and multiplying it by, for every one atmosphere, there's 29.92 inches of mercury. So I'll multiply this by one atmosphere at the top over 29.92 inches of mercury. This cancels out with the following unit, leaving us only with atmospheres. My next step is to change this into pascals, but look, this one is in kilopascals. So we have to do one more thing after converting it into pascals. First, I'll multiply it by the following, where I have one atmosphere at the bottom, and at the top I have 101, 3, 2, 5 pascals. This cancels out the atmospheres, but I need to report it in kilopascals. So to go from pascals to kilopascals, 1,000 pascals is equal to 1 kilopascal. Watch what happens. This cancels out with this, and now we use our calculator. We start with 30.44 times this number, I won't show the 1, it's redundant, 325, that gives us the number in the numerator position, divided by 29.92 times 1,000. We end up with 103.08 kilopascals. Let's respect the number of significant digits. We started with 4, and we should end with 4. Since this 8 is greater than 5, this number will go up, so we have 103.1 kPa. Finally, in question three, they want us to convert a pressure of 23.8 inches of mercury to kPa. This is the exact same request as in question two, so I'll do it really quickly for you. And what I would suggest is that you pause the video and see if you can do it by yourself. Here's how it's done. Let's start with 23.8 inches of mercury times, and I'll follow the same playbook as this, 1 atm per 29.92 inches of mercury, multiplied by the same thing as before, and then we divide what we get by a thousand. I won't write that down because I'm running out of space, 
but you know what I mean. So I have 23.8 multiplied by 101, 325, divided by 29.92 times 1,000. And this gives us a total of 80.59. Since it's three significant figures, I'm going to round this up into 80.6 kPa. And there you have it, three examples on how to convert between pressure units.